Hello my loves, it's a kitchen vlog and uh, uh, buy it because it needed, ooh heck. Um, so today is the day Liz Truss has resigned. Yesterday with that other woman who basically offended everyone, you know the tofu eating wokarate uh, statement in um, parliament. What a mess man, what an utter mess. You know, me and Jason were watching the news the other day. Today is um, Friday the 20th of October, by the way. We were watching the news the other day and we were watching it for a good hour. And then uh, we're, I think we were about to pop down to the allotment. We were about to do something. And Jay said, because um, we'd turned the telly off by then, and Jay was like, you know, I was just wondering why I was feeling really down and like hopeless and I've realised we've been watching the news all morning and I was like, yeah, we need to limit it, really. Limit, not ignore. Massive difference, huge importance. I get why people want to ignore it, but I don't think anybody should. I think it's really important that we all constantly pay attention to what is going on around the world so I've been meaning to do this uh, this vlog since um, since I did the one uh, about the Queen uh, dying because um, that was a very specific one uh, that was dealing with um, and it was dealing with a, a, a kind of a, a grief and a sense of loss that I never thought I would experience uh, you know, being so far removed from being kind of a uh, royalist or a supporter of the patriarchy or the matriarchy or the monarchy or, you know, all of the archies, all of the CHYs. Um, if you didn't see that one, by the way, I shall uh, link it up there, should you fancy having a look. Uh, but I didn't say much about I kind of hinted about uh, Charles I'm still willing to do I think that the royal family should be gone by now as in it should be it shouldn't be a thing anymore I don't mean them all dead nor horrible um, do I think it shouldn't be a thing anymore yes I do I do them's my thoughts but politically this country has gone right down the pan but you know everyone got sucked in by the Tories um, 12 years ago really and then uh, really loved the Tories when they gave them the chance to say whether they wanted to be a part of the EU or not uh, that's when like mega nationalism kicked in um, and you know here we are now suffering the consequences of Brexit uh, still with that same party in government and it's, it's ludicrous that they're still in government um, but there they are what are you going to do so yeah I wanted to kind of touch base with you all and, and just kind of, these are all the thoughts I've been thinking over the last few months well yeah the last few months really um, by the way, should, should I do, should I add to our merch a tofu eating walkerati t-shirt? Should I? I might do. Keep your eye out, but let me know below. Because <laughs> um, I quite like it. I'm, uh, I'm proud to be a part of the tofu eating walkerati, to be honest with you. Um, but what's getting you through this was through this turmoil and instability that's what it is isn't it turmoil and instability just a second I think that was Pisces did you want to come in Hi. It was I. It. Oh, can can we try to get back to me? Thanks. It was Isis. Here she is. Hello, love. 
Hello. Hi. If you're going to come like that, you might as well just come and say hi for a second. I know, but it's only for a second, isn't it? Just say hi. That's all you have to do, and then you can go back on my knee and I'll push you if you like. Is that nice of me? <laughs> So yeah, what gets what gets you through, what gets us through, I'll tell you what gets me through. Stuff like this, when everything is like really messed up and you feel like there's no stability or sensibility anywhere. I mean, I'm still angry about what this country did to uh, Jeremy Corbyn, basically demonised him and everybody fell for it. That's the terrifying part of it, is that, you know, otherwise um, seemingly of average intelligence people with the ability to uh, analyse and read and constructively think fell for all of the media demonising of a really, really good man. Same happened in um, America really with Bernie Sanders. I think because that's what we do that's what we do as a as a species we go for the uh, easiest option and politics is actually really 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 complex it isn't just the yellow haired man saying the things that others dare not say and I use that as a, as a kind of amalgam to represent both Trump and Boris Johnson but people like that and it's like, whoa, whoa, hang on. Don't elect people on the way that they rip the other side to shreds and how good that makes you feel. Elect people on the good that they say they're going to do. It's much more of an American thing, I think, than a British thing. It seems to be very easy, and it, particularly with uh, Republicans, people like um, MTG, Marjorie Taylor Greene. What a vile woman. What a vile woman. She spends most of her time talking about how the Liberal Party is trying to, de the Liberals are trying to destroy America. The Democrats are trying to destroy America. They want to destroy America. She doesn't talk about what she, the good that she wants to do in her district or for the people that she represents. Or she spends a lot of time demonising, and people like that because they've they've been taught to hate for so long without really thinking. Hang on, these here policies that really help people, the people of the world, the working people who keep the world going. What are, what's bad about them? What's actually bad about them? So politics has become this great kind of horrible polarising force that so easily manipulates the masses into these chants. Can I shut the door again now you've left please? Is that okay? So that your father can play his game with the sound on. Give me a sec. I'll put sound on Jay. Jay's home. We're both on today. Uh, we're both booked today off. Even though it's Thursday, we normally both work Monday to Thursday in our day jobs. Um, but yeah, we're both off today and it's been a terrible day weather-wise. So we went to Tesco. You may have seen a little short that I did. Uh, earlier today on the day I'm uploading this uh, Tesco trolley view just to show you what we'd bought and stuff and then we got back home and Jay went in the front room switched TV on came in the kitchen and said uh, she's resigned Liz Truss has resigned we've been watching the the shit shower all morning uh, of the, um, the the debacle that was the vote last night. I mean, I don't know the inner workings of it, but the gist I get is that they were to vote in Parliament on whether to ban fracking. 
I know even though most of the Conservatives wanted to vote to ban fracking, they had been told and bullied and cajoled into believing that it would make it a confidence vote, which would open the doors to a general election immediately. And apparently there was actual bullying going on outside the doors. You've got to walk through a certain door. All this pomp and farce, to me, needs to be done with. They say, oh, we've done it like this for 500 years. Eyes walk through this door. It's like it's pomp and farce. And it all needs scaling back, much like the coronation of uh, our new king in this country, which is ap apparently going to be in May next year. They need to scale it back because where are these funds coming from? F from where? Where is the? You know, I did a post on Facebook not too long back because I've been talking to this uh, lady in Oldham that I see regularly. Uh, who was in her 80s and she was scared of putting her heating on in the same week that the country spent an estimated three billion pounds on a funeral that's unacceptable that that is unacceptable to, and I wrote this big kind of long post about it on um, Facebook and then I wrote another one not too long back kind of defining what I see as the kind of prerequisites for being a um, staunch right winger You know, gender is defined by genitals and um, uh, even though they don't go to um, worship anywhere or for anything, they believe that the country should be Christian and, you know, ban abortion and don't talk about gays or the truth about slavery or... or da -da 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 -da. They're coming to get us. We must stop them. So I've been writing these posts and thinking at some point I need to do a kitchen vlog because I need to get this shit off my chest, man. And I'd, but I don't understand if... I can see it so clearly. How ridiculous it all is. Surely we all can. We all can. And I, I'm not... I don't choose a side. I'm not... Like, if you have to give me a, a label, then it would be liberal or democrat. I don't choose them like, I, I'm going to be a democrat because I want to be against republicans. I'm going to be a liberal because I want to be against conservatives. It's the belief systems of, the, of those parties are far nearer to who I am as a core person than... I don't believe that rich people should be allowed to squander billions. I don't, be, I don't believe that companies should be allowed to make billions in profit in three months while people are unable to pay their mortgages or heat or feed themselves. And we don't tax them in the right way because we want to promote other companies coming to Britain for economic growth. It's the all of that picture is way too big for me to see. I live in a much smaller world. Be good. Be excellent to each other. Be a good person. If I have a huge pie and you're hungry, you can have a slice of my pie. I don't need it all. It won't last that long. You know, hippie utopia, some would call it. Tofu eating more karate. Living in a dream world. Yeah, but see, everything starts as a dream. 
everything that has ever been on this earth, everything that has ever been or will be, starts as a thought and then is made real. So my thought is, why don't we all get our shit together? I don't hate you if you're a Republican or Conservative. I wish that you'd think broader and see the bigger picture and want to live in a world where there is more fairness and equality and uh, the um, fair distribution of wealth and the fair availability of opportunities that's that we can do that easy <laughs> easy we can do it so sorry I've gone off on a tangent you know me uh, what gets me through it gratitude gratitude I wake up every day grateful for the wonderful guy by my side who I'm married to and love more than any other man on earth except myself I love myself equally so I suppose those two things are really important. Um, I have a beautiful cat who's crazy and makes me laugh and I call her all kinds of silly names. Uh, I cook and eat a great meal every evening without fail. I have opportunities available to me. I have a wonderful YouTube channel with my husband and we're connected with so many wonderful people all around the world. You're one of them. I'm really grateful for that. I've got wonderful allotment. We have a car so we can go places. I'm really grateful for all of that. I'm, I'm grateful that I'm able to uh, access a completely different side of myself and hand myself over to a wonderful creation called Gemini is part of the Vegan Queens. I'm really grateful for that. I'm grateful for so much and I remind myself how grateful I am every day and I think that the more grateful you are about the things about yourself and the things in your life the more grateful you are for them I think the clearer you see selfishness the clearer you see manipulation, the clearer you see um, people who are, who are truly disingenuous. Is that the right word? I could be wrong. Disingenuous, I think, is the right word. People who are not what they tell you they are. Because people can tell you they're anything. It's what they do, isn't it? That's the thing. Let me have some of this lovely coffee and you'll be made. So yeah, this country, the UK, since Brexit, since the Tories got in power, has slowly and steadily declined to this that we're in now with an absolute shambles of a government. Liz Truss is the shortest serving Prime Minister in history. The one after her uh, was a hundred and odd days and uh, died in the 1800s, I think. You know, as in the shortest time after her, he was hundred and odd days, she's 45. 45 days as Prime Minister. All of it is an <laughs> hello again. All of it is an absolute um, shower of shine, and I I see it all, and I think, my goodness, these people are running the country. 
and and I think that politics in general needs a kind of wake up call but the politicians that are the nearest to the real people I would trust to be in charge and do things would all be what many of you would call left because to me that's what being human is all about it's about helping and supporting each other it's not about letting people take the piss obviously it's about having rules and regulations in place so that people can't take the piss all people But it's about making sure that opportunities, that finances aren't an obstacle to opportunity. That uh, locale isn't uh, an obstacle to opportunity. That class isn't an obstacle to opportunity. It's about acknowledging when something makes you angry. And then asking yourself what the hell it has to do with you. You know, like you see, there's a lot of anti-trans stuff out there at the moment. It's doing my head in, to be honest with you. Some of my, um, many of my friends are trans. Because gender isn't defined by your genitals. It's who you are as a person. And sometimes, Biology makes mistakes. It's that simple. It's that simple. And our politicians should be fighting our corner. They should be um, making sure that they have our best interests at heart so let's see what happens <laughs> hello 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 again come here and I'll stroke you and I can still talk hey baby hello hello uh, so yeah I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave this one there now. I just wanted to check in with you all because it's a shower of shit time at the moment. And if uh, you don't have any, uh, you, you don't have the tools available to you to um, get you through it. Remember to be grateful. Just be grateful. Have gratitude for the things in your life that you may take for granted. Um, I'm trying to remind myself every day that I have a warm cosy home and food in my fridge and freezer and cupboards and a wonderful husband and a wonderful cat and a career as a drag queen as a and a career as a, as a support worker and you know and and opportunities and I'm writing a book called Penny the Pigeon Queen just in case you haven't heard that before it's a kid's book um, you know there's there, there's a lot of good to be grateful for and happy about and I am and I acknowledge that but I'm still aware that we are surrounded by a shower of shit who are meant to be leading the country and are just making an absolute shambles of everything and uh, I'll remember that next time I go to uh, the ballot box like I have done for the last, as long as I've been voting as an adult, I've voted for the people that are nearest to my core values. And they've always been what many of you would call left. That's who I am. Right, I'm gonna get off. Finish my coffee, 
get this edited, get it whacked up. Uh, and if you are watching this on Thursday, the 20th of October, the day I upload it, tomorrow night, uh, Friday at 9 p.m., we'll be alive in the lounge with myself and Jason doing exactly that, sitting in the lounge, live, having a chat. There are definitely our most relaxed live sessions because we're not cooking or eating. We're just sitting and chatting and having a glass of wine and we would absolutely love it if you joined us. If you haven't before. Uh, anyway, uh, or if you have, obviously. So thank you very much for watching this. It does help to kind of word it out. Um, even though the world can get you down crazily at the moment, try not to let it. Uh, we've got each other and many of us have got the same beliefs. We want a better world for ourselves, for the animals, for the planet. Um, so let's keep striving towards that. And in the meantime, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye loves. Isis munching biscuits. Now she's going to scratch at the door. And she hasn't done just to prove me wrong. <laughs>